Walk around compound, see tigers, bum bum, have some pizza and squeaks, and tigers. Oh boy. Whoa. Alright, starting off with some fireworks I see. There's Jake. Knows how to make it. And then not Lucas over there. He was, well, he was rolling up on his back doing cute stuff. I mean, still stretching. Still doing cute stuff. But yeah, Jake basically just uh, lit in M80. Just like held it up to our face. <laughs> That was the level, that's the level of force that was generated with that much cute. Dangerous levels. <laughs> now, we got, now we got Luca. I don't know if he's going to come over or if he's going to do a roll. Nope, no roll. He kind of took like that kind of curve. <laughs> yeah, hi. It's oh my gosh. But it was it was an elliptical route, and I because sometimes you'll see uh, you'll see flight plans because if you were to take if you take a sphere, you know, like planet Earth, but then you like turn it into like a rectangular map then it's gonna it's going to like stretch certain zones or certain areas um and if you were to look at yeah if you look at flight plans or flight paths certain flight paths on a rectangular map there's like a kind of thing which from the reference point of if the world was just a flat rectangle which I mean like how do we know you know it's <laughs> I mean like have you seen the world like I need some I'm just asking questions now but if you look then the that elliptical shape accounts for the the spherical shape it actually makes more sense. It makes more sense and oftentimes is less distance to do this on a sphere. On a sphere. Hello, sugar pie. to find my walkers I always misplace them and like I don't know I think I might still have four but I, I very well could just be down to two at this point these little things lifesavers it's funny because like the walkers that I have right now I think have gone through like three different devices And the walkers endure. Hi. Hi, baby girl. Hey, sugar pie. Malik, 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 Yeah. Look at that pretty girl. Look at that pretty baby. Coming out of her shell. Whoa. So cool. So cool. Man, you're so cool, dude. <laughs> Such a whoa. Hi, baby girl.
Look at her, just keep on going. My gosh. You can hear them. These. <laughs> When Daryl wants to accelerate, Daryl accelerates. <gasps> Hi. Uh, I'm starting to get the sense that you're, I mean, you've got to have some sort of, some sense of whatever, of sight. Don't, don't think that, I don't think that you're hearing, I don't think you're hearing too good. Look at him. He's purring. He's purring too. You gonna do cute stuff? I think there's some people saying kitty kitty out on the road behind me. I think they're looking up at Noe and going, I think I heard a guy go kitty kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because it's like it kind of does it's you know does work kind of with them. They're like, well, you know, it's high pitch and seems friendly. I might respond to that. Oh yeah. Hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Confound webcast. Hi, hello. My my eye is healing. I uh I had a pretty I had a pretty solid shiner uh, from jujitsu. About like a week and a half. And a part of me is like kinda you know, I like I don't I don't mind having that stuff. Uh you know battle scars. I suppose. I watch uh, watch different podcasts. I like like interviews and people talking about stuff. So I like uh, I watch guys like Lex Friedman. Um, I think he's pretty uh, pretty interesting fella. Talks to interesting people. But he's also he does a lot of jujitsu, and uh, in one of his recent videos, in the introduction. He was talking about it like, well, you might know, because he always has a little bit of an introduction thing. Hi, the boy, the boy. He'll talk about like, just for like a couple minutes, like, okay, in this episode, we're going to talk to this person about this thing. And then he has like some little, you know, just kind of, hey, this is my, my words of wisdom, um, which I do think he's pretty, he's, he can be a fairly wise, wizened fella, humble, and uh He talks about, like the one of the recent ones he was saying like, oh, you may notice I've got some marks. I've got some bruising or marks on my chin because I recently got back into jujitsu after, uh, after recovering from an injury. But one thing you need to know is that if you do see me with marks on my face, then it usually means that I'm at my happiest. It usually means that I'm living a good life. I heard that and I was just like, you know what? That is, I, I love that because that's very true for, and that specifically though, for people like who train, because that means that we're, we're doing the thing that we love and we're training hard and you know, it's like you have something to show for it. And it's, there's, I don't know, you're putting your heart into the thing that you love. Look at these cuties. Look at these cuties. Oh, oh. She looked like she was gonna do some pouncy stuff. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hi, bud. <laughs> hey, bud. Yeah, you're a good boy. That, that didn't, I caught that, Jan. That didn't count.
but uh yeah it was it was really like for for a good close to a week it was like i mean deep deep purple like all around my eye and uh you know like most people like they they know my lifestyle <laughs> so Oh, hello. I see that you have like, looks like some egg. You have some egg on your, on your bottom lip. <laughs> some noticing some of your dinner. That seems to have been spilled out of your tray. But it was like chicken chunks mixed with, uh, mixed with egg. It's pretty delicious. Pretty good, pretty good dinner. What a good girl. Yeah, you can keep napping. You can keep sleeping, baby. There's a good baby. Good girl. Good girl. All right. But yeah, there's a lot of people, a lot of people in my life, my life, um, who it's like, oh, jujitsu or tigers. It's like any, if Derek has marks or if he's walking with a limp or there's something going on, oh, you got some stitches? Okay, well, it's either, it's probably, what is either jujitsu or tigers. One of the, those two. <laughs> actually no like probably the only time i uh the only time i got stitches or the first time i got stitches actually i think it's still the only time was um had ne had to do with neither it was when i tried to do parkour and uh it didn't work out <laughs> it didn't work out so good <laughs> Hi Ruby. Hi Ruby. Hi Rubes. Hi Rubes to Hi Ruby two shoes. Two shoes Ruby. Ruby of the of Ruby of the shoes clan. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's some they're looking over that way for some reason, not sure why. Not sure why. Hello. 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 Hi, baby girl. Hello. Then the other one. And then the other one. All right. All right. Well, thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy. And thank you so much for your continued support. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.